morning campers. Early start this morning, up at six, the market 7.30 buying stock for the shop. It was drizzling, there wasn't an awful lot of there. But anyway, I did buy some stock for the shop and then uh, went to get a coffee at Costa's, have a croissant, and then called back into the shop to pick up some paint and now I'm back home again. And I'm just going to do some gold edging around this uh, very ordinary pedestal table that I've been painting. And um, I just thought, well, I've got Vernon playing in the background. I was gonna do a live, but I didn't think I could multitask, work the camera, do the painting, think, and answer comments. So um, I've just done it as a video. And I just thought I'd sort of show you what I've been up to really. So um, for, a, for a long time, I've tend to focus much more on sort of lazy range and um, the alfresco because they're both self-priming, self-leveling and self-finishing. And I forget how wonderful the French original artisan paints are. They're the real proper chalk paint that you have to seal. Uh, with wax or with finishing coat and um, they're not self-leveling so you do get all the sort of the brush marks in it which is fine because it adds texture and that's what I really like you can sort of build up the texture and you can always use a very fine sandpaper once you've finished it to just knock back the the nibs on it denib it and um, that's what I've done with the table actually with the tabletop I put three coats of the original paint on it gave it the mildest of mild sands all over and then I've sealed it using the French Heat Tough Coat because this is a dead flat mat and it's as tough as old boots. But because it's dead flat mat, I can then put the wax over the top of it. And I'm just going to use the clear wax, which is gorgeous, it's absolutely gorgeous. And um, I'm going to use one of the French Heat Wax brushes, which I find invaluable for, for getting wax on evenly and getting it on quickly. And then once I put it on, I can then just wipe off the excess, leave it to dry and give it a good old buff to give it a good shine. So the, the pedestal, which is actually in the other room, there isn't enough room to have the pedestal and the tabletop in here while I'm working on it. Uh, the pedestal I haven't sanded, I'm just going to leave it as it's slightly more chalky, slightly rougher finish. Um, because who goes down to look at the pedestal really? It looks great, but you know, it'll feel slightly less smooth than the top does. Um, but I will seal that with the French Heat Clear Wax, which will just seal it and give it a nice finish. So what I'm going to do today, I decided that even though um, I had thought I'd finished, I think I'm going to do the border in the gold. And um, for that, I'm going to use the French Heat Metallics King's Gold. And it's a really super pre-mixed paint. It's okay to use it outside as well. Um, and I'm just going to go around the border of it and I think that that will just lift it and make it seem just a little bit more, a little bit more umptious. So um, if you can stand by and you want to watch me watching paint dry, then feel free. I'm listening to 10 to the top on Vernon Clay in the background here very quietly. And um, I do find that from the troubles of the world, I turn to paint and painting because um, when I'm painting, I don't really have thoughts that attach. I mean, I have thoughts, obviously we all do, but they don't really attach. And so after about an hour and a half, when I sort of stand up and think, oh, my back's a bit achy or I need a coffee, um, I realise that I've not really considered anything too much apart from what I've been doing. And I actually find that a sort of a form of meditation. I absolutely love it. How else can you relax these days? There's always social media going on. Of course, when I'm doing a, a broadcast, whether it be a live or a video, I put my do not disturb on. So I know I'm completely just at liberty to have my thoughts and to listen to the radio or a CD. So anyway, I've just mixed this up now and um, it's gorgeous to, uh, to see it in the tin. And I, I'm expecting to do two coats, maybe even a third coat, who knows? We'll just have to see how it goes on. Actually, I'm going to give it a little bit more of the stir. I did give it a good shake, but because this has been one of the tins on my stand for a while, it might need to have a little bit more of a good old stir up. So um, bear with Caller while I just give it a bit more of a stir. They do the three metallics actually in a gorgeous silver and in a really lovely rose gold as well, which is very, very pretty. 
But for this one, I think I just want bling, lots of bling. Right, that's looking a little bit more mixed. And I'll probably give it a little bit of a mix as I go through actually, just to make sure it's okay. Right, let's get started. So, I've got a very old paintbrush that I retrieved from somewhere, but it seems to just do the job. So I'm just going to put the first coat on and it will be a bit sort of uh, translucent because it's the first coat and it's going on over this very vibrant sort of turquoise colour. The turquoise, by the way, is Anguilla from the original Artisan range. And I guess it's, it's one of my favourite pick you up colours. It's so vibrant and bright and very beautiful. And uh, it just happens to look really nice, I think, with the gold. Yeah, it's gonna definitely need two coats, may need a third, but that's fine. I've got a, a, a very sort of old brush, but it just seems to work for getting into this line. I have to have a reasonably steady hand. Do you know what? It's not too precious, it really isn't. And uh, if all else fails, I could either paint over it, or I could just sand it back and have some of the uh, turquoise coming through it, which would give it that slightly older distress look which is so uh, rather nice how's everybody doing at the moment i tend to veer between we're all going to die is life supposed to be this hard to pick yourself up girl get on with it stop moaning just do the do because we will come out of this and when we do if all you've done is sit around and moan, you'll have nothing to sell and nothing to show for it. Whereas if you've quietly kept yourself going, then um, when you emerge from this, these doldrums, which is the general state of market at the moment, then hopefully you'll be in a good position to, uh, to just carry on as if there's been no blip. But, uh, it is a bit demoralising at times when you feel like you are giving it beans and you're doing your best, showing up, being enthusiastic, and it's a bit quiet. But I need to stop doing this doom talk because it's no good for me, it's no good for the economy, and it's no good for you lot watching. So. The only reason I share it is that if you are possibly feeling a bit that way inclined as well, don't beat yourself up. You're not the only one. I speak to dealers day in, day out, and uh, you know, they're all feeling a little bit the same. And um, you know, that old expression, fake it till you make it. I'm very aware of that. And I do my best to be upbeat. And then when it all gets a bit much, I simply go and get the paint brushes out and I just paint something because at least at the end of it I've got something to show for it. So this um this gold metallic paint will actually dry very quickly. So I'm going to go up to the Clifton Mall or the, the Mall at Cribs Causeway and meet one of my dealer friends up there for a coffee. And um, by the time I get back, this will be dry and I'll be able to put a second coat on and assess whether it needs a third coat or not. Of course, when I've done it, I will put it onto our Facebook page and our Instagram page. And for those that you're watching on our YouTube channel, if you didn't know already, our Facebook page is Fifi's Fancy Furniture Second. That's two ND. Our first account, Fifi's Fancy Furniture, was hacked and we had to say goodbye to our four and a half thousand followers. Um, we've had to start again, but that's fine. You know, we overcome these things, don't we? Just have to smile and get through it. And Instagram, we're just Fifi's Fancy Furniture. And whatever I post on to Instagram, I post on to Facebook as well. So um, if you do one, you won't be missing out on anything in particular. Occasionally I might do the odd video that's different on each, but as far as actual shop stock is concerned, I put the same on both. 
and um, every Friday morning we do a Facebook Live, which my sister very kindly comes in specially for and films. And uh, Nick, who works for me, stands by as my memory prompt and reminds me of the stop that's come in that I need to mention and tell people about. My uh, short-term memory is totally shot these days. So much to remember all the time, isn't there? You have brain overload. Anyway, all is not lost. If you can see this sort of um, big canvas behind me as well, that's also got the same angle of painted onto it. This is a canvas that I've had kicking around. I bet I have been moving it around the utility room and even in my loft for about eight years. And it's always in the way, always. And uh, it's got a cow's head, a very close up of a cow's head on it. And uh, finally, the other day I thought, right, just put the background color on and then start to do the actual face. Some years ago, I did a giant cockerel's head. Same size canvas, black background, big red comb on this cockle. And uh, it was quite striking actually. And I have to say, it's hanging in my lounge and I do absolutely love it. So this is a very close up of a cow. And I am determined to get the bloody thing finished and up on the wall because I'm sick to death of it being in the way all the time. Right, we've done one complete circuit here. So, although it's very translucent and patchy in places, I can already tell that it's going to lift the piece and uh, make it look really quite gorge, I think. And when it's done, I will post this onto Instagram and Facebook, because it will be for sale. And uh, you can see what the finished look is then. But for now, I'm just going to wrap my brush up, lid back on the tin, go off to the mall, have a cup of coffee, have a bit of a soche, have a laugh, and then um, come back and do the second coat. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.